Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming at you with a unboxing video. This is a true unboxing. And yeah, I'm just really, really tired and stressed from work. But I wanted to get a day off today and have a rest. But I, I couldn't wait until another day to unpack this. So yeah, we'll get straight into this. Um, I have a bit of a backstory on this, but I will I'll start cutting this parcel so the video wouldn't take too long and this is I got this from eBay guys and I think if you see this you'll tell me that I'm crazy and I'm probably in okay. I mean my hands are cold and sweaty so that says something about this unboxing. Wow. Okay, that's pretty. Thanks so much, Henny. Enjoy wearing this beauty. Thank you, Mary. Wow, she sent me a note as well, which is so nice. I love it. Has that ribbon. I love it. It's like a true. And I, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put this video out, but I don't know when. Um, I just had too much unboxings right now. And I don't want to put out too much unboxings. It's kind of insane. Like, I don't have that much money <laughs> to be spending more. But when this came up on eBay, I just couldn't pass pass it up. Oh my God. And this particular item is from Chanel. Oh my God, I've been bitten by the Chanel bug. And it's not the best thing, but I mean in terms of my bank account, but I'm just really happy that I bought this and I'm just hoping that it is as described and all the packaging are complete. So it came with a receipt, with a box, with a dust bag, with the ribbon, what else was there? Authenticity card, did I say that? Okay, I'm happy that it was packaged pretty well. Oh my god, wow, okay. She's not playing. Ooh, yes, honey. Okay, so by this box, I think you might have a clue already. So it came with the camellia check, ribbon check, box check. Oh my god, the box looks immaculate as well oh my gosh it's like a brand new like he she she packaged it very very nice okay we'll open it up ribbon out camellia will just stay there and this camellia is like the canvas version oh my god lord please <laughs> let this be right for me and what is this Okay, and got a care booklet, I believe. I'm, I'm, I'm really like clammy. Oh my gosh, where's the receipt? Okay, it might be inside. So it has this velvet dust bag here. It smells amazing. Wow, okay, all right. And we'll reveal this now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait. Shit. Excuse the language. Oh my god. Let me examine this. Wait, let me check. Okay. Let me check the receipt. And this was purchased. When was it? The 17th of the 7th, 2016. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, it retails for 2950 Wow. And I think this retails for 3300 Australian dollars right at this present time, but not this version, which I'm gonna tell you why I purchased this. Yeah, it feels so heavy. Okay, which is, which is a good thing. And we'll check everything first. 
I'm happy with what I'm seeing currently. I hope nothing disappoints me. Let me just pull out the authenticity card. And it is a 22 series bag, which yeah, it corresponds to, okay. Um, wow, well, okay, what, what I'm gonna say. I'm just a little bit surprised about the quilting of this. It's not that puffy as my Chanel um, Boy Walk, the one that I bought earlier this year, but I want, yeah, I'm a bit happier because this leather feels stiff and for me that's a good thing because it will probably wear a bit better and it feels so substantial and oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my God. I know I have that Chanel boy walk already, but guys, I'm on, I was on a hunt. I was on a crazy mad hunt to find the same exact one, but in burgundy with the silver or gold hardware, but it was so hard to find guys. I couldn't find one. But I found one just recently at Fashion File, but you know, customs, no, no freaking way that I'm going to pay customs that will cost me about extra $500, which was like, no, that's not even an, an argument to begin with. So when this came up on my eBay, like notifications, I was just like, hold your heart and hold your horses and your bank account. <laughs> Let, let yourself breathe and think about it. Okay. But I was so close to purchase this particular bag, the same exact bag, uh, probably uh, March or April of this year. But I was just not ready by that time because I've just bought quite a lot of stuff. So I just thought, okay. But when that item was gone from the listing I kicked myself so hard guys I thought because I'm thinking of buying a small boy small small le boy bag but it, it was like small boys are so extortionate but I just thought I just wanted a small bag so I wanted to get the boy walk in like another color or you know in this different hardware I didn't even introduce this. So this is in caviar leather with the shiny gold um, hardware, which looks, it barely has scratches on it, which is great. I might pull off my, I might pull out my old one, my first, looks like the strap is a bit, yeah, I don't know. I just got sidetracked there, but yeah, um, after seeing this on eBay, I just snatched it up. Um, right away but there is an ebay code that i was able to use plus the cash back so i did i was able to save quite a bit on this yeah and one thing more is that i've been looking for i don't have like a gold hardware bag in my collection i do have the rectangular mini which i've unboxed like over two weeks ago but i'm not keeping that bag i just decided to sell it if you're interested let me know I'll just sell it for how much I paid for it and yeah wait I'll just grab that um, boy walk and we'll compare so we're back <laughs> so I was able to pull this out this is my lip boy wallet on chain in the ruthenium hardware and this is my new um, boy walk so comparing them this is a bit more matte and this one is a bit more shiny or shinier it smells better <laughs> oh my gosh I love it that they're different and yeah that makes me just want to keep both really but yeah really I'm just gonna keep them both because I love the boy design oh my gosh I don't know what else to say um, I just love it I will, I will compare yeah we'll compare the chain length. Yeah, they're 
Oh. Looks like the ruthenium one is... Yeah, the ruthenium... This one, my ruthenium boy is longer. The chains are a bit longer, slightly, probably a centimeter um, longer. But that is how they compare. Of course, they're equally the same. Oh yeah, I haven't checked if this is a what was made made in Italy. Okay, I feel like all boy wallet and chains are like made in Italy. Let's compare the two. I'm very happy. Oh my god. I, if I decide that I don't, I wouldn't like to keep it, I mean, I could resell this for a show quite easily. But yeah, um, I was just looking at this and I feel like my first boy wallet on chain um, looks a bit better because of the shininess, but like just thinking of it, if they are both like the same, I probably wouldn't shouldn't be keeping both but now that they're I mean they seem seem like different and yeah I'm quite happy with that and I feel like the the matte caviar leather finish on this um, like contrasted with the shiny silver hardware is had balanced the look of this which like tr I, w I tried it on with my <laughs> denim jacket I just went out and tried it on but yeah, I... so, yeah that, that's how it looks like on me. And yeah, I just love that bit of gold with the chain. It's just perfect, I think. And this, is, this would be like my formal like bag that I could use <clears throat> to weddings or to like special occasions. And yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm happy that I got everything here. And the condition is as described and yeah she didn't really use this quite a lot looks like so yeah I think that's all that I wanted to say um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel and like this video and yeah I will catch up on my next video have a great day guys see ya bye